turn of events, but big momentum for Karen Bailey and Avea Chantel going into next week as they start the Dojo Wars Tag Team Championship Tournament. But we're going to have our very first Dojo Wars Tag Team Championship Round Robin Tournament match scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit.
amazing. Greg Jones just passed me some counterfeit bills. I'm a little disappointed. It literally says copy. For those of you at home, I'm going to read the back of this. It clearly says on the back, copy money. I would have preferred the $5 I was getting paid to be nice to him. I'm a cheap date, ladies and gentlemen. Each of these two teams has three matches in this round robin round of the Dojo Wars Tag Team Championship Tournament. For Castillo and Hyde, they have matches tonight, next Wednesday night, and then at the Super Show on December the 20th, where they will meet Team Espana. The teams with the best record in each of the two blocks will meet in the finals. In the event of a tie, a head-to-head -head matchup will break the tie. But if the head-to-head -head matchup does not break the tie, meaning the two teams with the best records, it will then go to the total amount of time in the ring. Greg Jones and DJ Hyde surprisingly starting out first. Jones has talked repeatedly about how DJ Hyde's been ducking him for the better part of the last six months now. Very interesting to note that uh, Craig Jones wanting to start things off with the Lariat God. Jones again, getting right out of the ring, avoiding DJ Hyde. Jones playing some mind games here with DJ Hyde. A lot of people might say that a Jones wants nothing to do with DJ Hyde. You know, I'm gonna lean on the idea that Jones is probably the most underrated competitor here at the dojo. He, he, he's undefeated in singles competition. That, that's 100% fact. But uh, Greg Jones, I, I think people look at him. They see him as a, a little bit of a weasel. They see him as a weak link, as a guy who uses maybe his uh, his intellect as, as he now walks up with DJ High. But there's a blind tag to Adrian Santos. And Santos quickly breaks things up. Whip reversed by High. Big back elbow. Down goes Santos. Santos goes down again. Hyde looking, not looking to be paid by the hour in this one. Off the ropes. Big boot. And the Ecuadorian nightmare himself needing to collect himself. In the case of Santos and Greg Jones, given their scenario, you know, they're the most uh, competitive team and had the strongest win-loss record of any team in their bracket. You know, Castillo and Hyde are relative newcomers as a unit. Hyde, the most experienced competitor in the tournament, and Tori Castillo, for sure, the least experienced. So, you know, their dichotomy is gonna be very, very interesting. And here, Tori is asked to tag in. Greg Jones is offering some of that funny money to Tori Castillo. To turn on DJ Hyde and pick up a quick, is that 100? 300? Castillo, having none of that. Ate a boot right to the midsection. And a blow right across the back. A very interesting matchmaking here as a part of the Dojo Wars Tag Team Championship Tournament. The fact that this matchup is the first matchup out of the gate talks about the importance of this round robin tournament. Because you'd think that a matchup of the caliber of, of Hyde and Castillo against uh, Greg Jones and Adrian Santos, given their history, would uh, perhaps be a part of a super show. But here it is, here tonight, as a part of our special Big Wednesday edition. And Greg Jones just floored that young lady, buried a shoulder. Highly under-
underrated and elusive. Jones misses with a clothesline. Castillo now just bearing forearms right to the chin of Greg Jones. Castillo out of the corner, charges, big clothesline. Santos in from behind. There's a clothesline. Catches Santos here. Castillo is going two on one with Santos and Jones and just kicks Santos right in the teeth. Back elbow now by Greg Jones. Great to set up for a suplex. And right there though, Adrian Santos just waylaying Tori Castillo from behind. Again, we talked about the experience as a team. Greg Jones and Adrian Santos, you know, it took a little bit for them to find their way as a unit, but perhaps outside of Young, Dumb and Broke, the most decorated team right now in the dojo coming into this tournament. And they're in a bracket with Karen Bam Bam, Nevaeh Chantel, teams that they've beaten before. With DJ Hyde and Tori Castillo, and with Team Espana, and you, you gotta believe, especially because Greg Jones and Adrian Santos beat Team Espana in the past. They beat Karen Bam Bam and Nevaeh Chantel in the past. That this is their one matchup. That if they were to beat Tori Castillo and DJ Hyde, it's, it's their bracket to win. Referee Echo, the senior official staying right on things in this matchup. Really glad to see her be the official in this contest, especially given the stakes at hand right now. And now Jones is just choking Tori Castillo behind, behind Echo's back, come on. Adrian Santos now just playing with Tori Castillo. A little bit of cat and mouse right now. Santos with a big headbutt. Doing that right in the shadow of DJ Hyde. This particularly telling stomp now by Adrian Santos. Gets Castillo in the corner, taunted her with that chop. Still caught her across the chest. Castillo trying to fight back, fight out of this right now. Waylays her with a big forearm. And Castillo now just clap, collapsing in the corner. Jones and Santos have now isolated this young lady. Big shot right across the back. Tori Castillo. This is where the heart of a warrior is measured. Moments like this. We've already seen that Tori Castillo has a great deal of fight in her. But she's gonna need to do a hell of a lot to overcome this mountain right now. And now Jones just disrespecting her, shoving the money right in her mouth. 1987 Ted DiBiase would be quite pr pleased with himself right now. Jones throwing Castillo right into the ropes and then right to the outside. Important to note that with Castillo on the outside, she can't make the tag. DJ Hyde, again the most experienced competitor in this matchup is left on the ring apron as Jones and Santos just kind of mock this young lady. Santos again bearing a forearm right to her head. Rolls her back into the ring. A valiant effort here tonight by Tori. Wow. Tori Castillo. This young lady was, was a phenomenal official here at the dojo. Transitioning right now into being an in-ring competitor. She's had a series of wars. We saw just last week just how much fight is in this young lady. And she went face to face with Aaron Ash at the end of that three on three elimination tag team matchup. Castillo covered one, two. If you 
could measure a will, a desire to survive, to succeed. Tori Castillo would be off the chain, but right now she's just outmatched the strength, the size, the experience. And, and, and dare I say, the je ne sais quoi of a Greg Jones and an Adrian Santos. You know, Tori Castillo is, is just not prepared. Oh. Oh. There. Come on, how many times? Oh. But damn if she's not gonna fight right now. Oh. Oh. Trying to do her damnedest to fight out of this. And again, right in front of the referee, Adrian Santos, no! Castillo moved out of the way. Santos collides with Greg Jones. Out of the corner, Tornado DDT. And Tori tags it to DJ Hyde. And Hyde goes right after Greg Jones. But the referee did not see the tag. Jones and Tori Castillo are the legal competitors. And right there as Tori just slumped over on the ring apron. That piece of garbage just grabbed her by the hair. Greg Jones slammed her face first into the ring post. And th this goes to that experience. A lesson for this young lady to learn. As an official, she put others in that position before. You'd think it it's a tough spot to be in. The heat of the moment, not seeing the tag, the referee, not seeing it, not hearing it, making the judgment call. And right now, Tori Castillo is doing whatever she can to try and stay in this matchup. Referee may have to consider stopping this one right now. Castillo is not getting her hands up. If Jones didn't stop throwing hands there, you know, I don't know if Tori would be getting up right now. You know, for months, Greg Jones and Adrian Santos taunted from afar DJ Hyde. I don't know how in a building this small, in a dojo, this connected, they have managed to stay away. And right now, that very first opportunity to go toe to toe with that man, they are taking it to his young charge, his young student, one Tori Castillo. Big scoop here by Adrian Santos and a slam. You know, a lot of people, I think, overlook this young man. A professional athlete for the better part of seven years. Very experienced, high impact competitor. And just like that, trying to showboat, and Santos misses with an elbow. Tagging to high, tagging to Jones. Jones misses with a clothesline. Santos off the apron, and Jones goes down. Back elbow, Jones goes down again. Greg Jones is now in the ring with DJ High. Punch right to the jaw, Jones off the ropes. Black hole slam. DJ Hyde has been waiting months for this moment. Greg Jones is in the corner, and oh my God! Greg Jones almost shot down to the ring. In the far corner, and Jones again! Right across the chest. DJ Hyde taking out months of frustration on the greatest man alive. Let's not forget that DJ Hyde and Tori Castillo lost to Henrik just two months ago because Greg Jones, because Adrian Santos. Santos is in. The referee has lost all control. Rolling forearm by Santos. Step up, it's a Gary. Castillo knocked off the apron. What the hell? Greg Jones and Adrian Santos. Greg Jones just beat DJ Hyde. Ladies and gentlemen, at the time of the fall, 12 minutes, 36 seconds, your winners by pinfall.